Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, well, later than usual, late yesterday, um, September the 29th, and this is a week later than what is usually the case, uh, we finally had the Windows 11 24H2 bug fixing updates. So the uh, update previews have arrived. Um, last week for Windows 10 and Windows 11 23H2, but we were still waiting for the 24H2. From what I see, it has been released in the release preview ring twice, which means they must have fixed some bug and needed more testing time. So uh, KB5065789 is now here, brings your build to 26167.25. And by the way, if you are a Windows uh, 11 25H2 user, you also get this update and this update. And the 25H2 uh, brings your version to 26200.6725. Uh, uh, so uh, this is the uh, cumulative update preview uh, that is now um, available uh, for the uh, Windows 11 24 and 25 each two same KB number on 25 each two also uh, shows that they're the pretty much the same version so this adds a few new features a lot of them that I don't have they're not turned on yet but there's a few new things that have um, been added with pass keys um, another one with I dynamic ranged uh, settings, um, all sorts of uh, different little things in the uh, the taskbar. Uh, we have also new um, settings that have had uh, uh, been added to uh, the uh, system uh, and the notifications on how notifications can actually uh, show. So um, if you have notifications and you have the new update, some of you might see that there's now a slider or a little menu that tells you where on the screen the notifications can appear and float not just on the bottom right so this is uh, for example not available for me which once again is always annoying with Microsoft for the rest it does fix quite a lot of little problems here and there so um, this is what's gonna happen if you don't install it now you will have it at some point. Uh, there's a fix for um, the uh, iDynamic I range problems that uh, they would turn off after being enabled in settings. Hyper-V fixed an, a problem with virtual machines uh, with TPM and on uh, ARM devices and has a lot of other little things that they're fixing in here to make it um, work better. Now, they, uh, of course, if you don't go and check it out, you will have this only with Patch Tuesday um, of uh, October. This is why, you know, I often say don't, you know, just ignore them. Because anyways, even if they're a week late, it doesn't matter. It'll be installed automatically anyways with the next Patch Tuesday op uh, updates in October. Uh, for sure so then you know they'll be fixed and they'll have if they had a problem they had a little something not going well at least you, that should be fixed by patch tuesday uh coming up in october and this uh october's patch tuesday will fall on uh october 14th so it's going to be pretty far off october 14th almost mid-month before we get the patch tuesday this year on october so uh, check it out if you want, but you can ignore it, and it'll be installed with Patch Tuesday. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.